Hey everyone, Shaver 1000 here. Sorry about the lighting. The sun just, uh, it's right over top of head. It's about one o'clock. We're out here at our little creek bank again, or channel, or canal, whatever. You, it's not a canal, it's a, like a channel. Um, so we're going to do a little fishing today. See if I can't uh, redeem myself for getting stomped on the other night from monkey. So stick around, let's see if we catch anything. Okay guys, I just got them both casted out. Um, yeah, I had to pay $35 for my license, my fishing license the other day, because they expired. And, uh, monkeys expire. I got a hit. Oh, I got a hit on both of them. Hang on. I'll tell you a story. Well, it's not really a story. All right. So, anyway, a good hit on the banana rod. But, uh, see that thing? That's $35 because we get, okay, we get our, our reef fishing permit. It's free to fish along the reefs and stuff. But our freshwater fishing license is $16. And we're down here in Florida, so, and we go over to Gulf Coast, and we go down to Tampa and St. Pete, and we... We fish the coast down there, so we have to have our freshwater license, which is another $16. Then they charge you $3 on top of that to uh, do it online, which is weird because nobody's actually doing it. The computer does it. It's paperless, so they, they still charge you $3 for it, plus tax. So it's $35 and 20 some cents or whatever. For a man to come out and fish. Now, what if a man's trying to feed his family? You know, this this is God's country. This doesn't belong to the government. The government don't own anything. Technically, we don't either. You know, this, this land's only here for us to borrow. And, you know, for a man, a poor man to try to feed his family, if he goes out fishing, he can't afford the license, but if he wants to catch a fish to feed his family, if he gets caught, it's a very hefty fine that he can't afford to pay, and that's more money that he's got to worry about coming out of his pocket instead of going into his kid's mouth. It's ridiculous. I understand, you know, um, commercial fishermen and stuff like that. If I was commercial fishing, I get it, but I'm not. I just like to go out and catch some fish. 90% of the time, we throw them back anyway. So it's not right that we have to pay to do something God said we can do freely. It, it doesn't seem right, you know. I mean, it's like over in Crystal River. They started charging everybody to use the boat ramp. And I guess over the past year, they've made over 300 and some thousand dollars for that boat ramp to go back to the park. And you're getting less. We was there the other day. And what, the day before you? Saturday we were there. And, and uh, the grass wasn't mowed. There used to be two benches down at the water, at the water's edge. They're gone, and they're not going to get put back up. The bathrooms are nasty. They're never cleaned. You never see anybody out there working on anything. It's ridiculous. Where's that money going? It's supposed to go back to the park. I don't know, guys. It just, you know, it really upsets me that they charge you to use our property to begin with. This is our land, you know, this is ours to borrow. Uh, government, it's not the government's land, you know. I mean, to charge a person to go catch a fish, to go, and, and they encourage you, the DNR encourage people, take your kids out, go have a great time, but make sure you pay all the fees to do that. What is wrong, I mean, what is wrong with a man and a woman going out catching a fish or a man taking his kids out to go fishing, you know? And 
and he has to have a license in order to help them fish, really. I mean, or he's considered fishing. It's ridiculous. Some people can't afford that. Third, we can't afford it. I mean, that pretty much took the balance out of our bank account just so I could go fishing, you know? And my license expired at midnight, but it didn't come up on my phone. So if they would have stopped me, I wouldn't have had proof that, you know, that was my last day. I had until midnight. Well, 11.59 p.m. So, I mean, it doesn't make sense. And then, you know, because I have it on my phone. Because if you go to Walmart and buy them, they give you that receipt. You put it in your pocket. It's faded out in three days. You can't read it. So that's why I have the app. I got monkeys on there, too. So it's just ridiculous, man. I mean, the stuff you have to pay for nowadays. I mean, I know, you've had to pay for licenses for a long, long time. But why? To do this, you know, well, it lasts, monkey said, well, it lasts all year. I shouldn't have to pay it to begin with, you know. I shouldn't have to pay $35 to go fishing for the year, you know. And some people only go out once or twice a year. It's not, you know, that's ridiculous. And where we go over Crystal River, it's saltwater and freshwater fish, okay. Because that's where it intermingles the water. So you might be fishing there and catch a saltwater fish. And if you only have your freshwater license and you catch a saltwater fish out of your control, you know, you're going to get fined if you don't have your saltwater license. It's crazy. All right, I'm getting a bite over here. Um, let's see what happens. I'll kick you on in a minute. Uh, See if we can get something to latch onto one of these lines here. So I'm getting some bites. I just had a pretty good little pull on this one on the banana rod here. But it dropped it. Usually that's what a catfish will do when they're hitting. It was like tapping, then it started to pull, and when I got ready to grab my pole, it let loose. But usually when they do that, they'll come back and get it. But Yeah, so I mean, you know, it's not really rent. It's just I'd like to be explained to why. Okay, you know, I bought these fishing rods. Well, Monkey bought me that one, but, you know, they're bought and paid for. I don't have to pay taxes again. But if you own land, you got to pay taxes every year. It's called a land tax. Well, the thing about that is, is I was talking to a tax man one time about taxes on my business because he he didn't like that i was just charging cash i only took cash and not credit card not check because he uh because he didn't like the idea of that um well you can't just charge cash you have to charge it and take other form no i don't you know cash is legal tender it says it right on it and uh but anyway you know and, and we, we got in the discussion, how come you have to pay taxes on your house every year? Once it's paid off, you're still paying taxes. He says, you're not paying taxes on the house, you know, the lumber, the concrete. You're not paying taxes. You're paying tax on the land. I said, oh, so the government, even though you buy it, the government still owns that land. He said, well, no, actually, if you want to get technical, nobody owns land, you know. It's, it's, it's God's country. It's, you know, God's doing it. Nobody can actually own land. I said, then how can the government tax something they don't even own? And that's when he started getting smart alecky. Well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here to, to, you know, to debate with you. I'm just saying. I said, no, I know what you're saying. If the government says it, it's right no matter what. And that's not right. I mean... You know, that car, I don't have to pay tax on it every year, you know. We bought it, it's ours. Monkey paid 29900 for her house, the house we live in right now. She paid cash, $100 bills for that house. She saved up for 10 years and bought that house with cash, plus tax. And we still got to pay tax on it every year. But like he said, well, you're not paying tax on the house, you're paying tax on the land. Government don't own land. They, it's, a, it's an entity. They can't own land. Technically, none of us can own land. Because when we die, 
it's going to somebody else anyway, so it's only it's only ours to borrow, really. Um, so how can the government tax us? You know, it just doesn't make sense. There we go. We're getting pretty good hit now. Um, banana rod here. Boy, it's a hot one today. Of course, wearing the sun. There is a little bit of a breeze, so that helps. Oh, got a hit on the Black Max. So we're getting some hits. Um, again, I didn't bring my body cam because, you know, it's just, it's so hot. So they're starting to hit. This water's really low. Um, it's usually up. It's probably between 8 and 12 inches low. Um, it's usually up higher than this, but that's okay. We're just, uh, that's about time to go fishing, isn't it? Monkey said, why? I said, never mind. She goes, well, you want to go fishing? We'll go fishing. Just say you wanted to go fishing. I said, that was my way of saying I wanted to go fishing. We didn't have anything planned today, no doctor's appointments. It's Monday, so I said, well, you know, let's go sit on the creek. Let's go sit on the creek bank for a little bit. So that's what we're doing, guys. So thanks for my little, listening to my little rant. I just don't understand it, you know. Um, yeah, after you're so old, you don't have to pay for license. I get it. But... Why do we have to pay for license anyways? We're not we're not commercial fishermen. We just like to come out and do a little fishing. Doesn't make sense to me, but probably next year I don't think I'm going to pay for that because I think it's like a fifty-five, sixty-dollar fine. So, you know, I mean, when I lived in Ohio, I didn't buy a license for over twenty years, and I thought, you know, fifty-five, sixty-dollar fine. I'm still ahead of the game at sixteen dollars every year. Uh, same here. I'm I'm just I probably won't buy them next year. I just don't believe in that. You know, I just don't believe a man should have to pay that kind of money to go catch a fish and throw him back in. It's ridiculous. But anyway, as soon as something latch on latches on to one of these, I'll kick you back on. Okay guys, are you recording? I can't see anything. I got a hit over here on the black max see it. Got something on here. Not fighting very much, so I think it might be a damn turtle. Like I said, I don't know what you guys can see and what you can't. betting it's a turtle. And whatever it is wrapped up in a whole bunch of moss. Maybe if I give him some slack, maybe, sorry about the wind, maybe he'll get himself out of it. I don't know. Let's see. Sometimes they'll try to go back out and they'll get themselves untangled. He's up here towards the edge. But again, let me give him some slack. See if he tries to take off. If he does, that'll be good. But it's not fighting, you know what I mean? I can feel him pulling, but... I didn't bring my boots. I wore my shoes. I wasn't thinking, just threw my shoes on. So, I can only get down here so far.
Got a head on the banana rod here too. Try this. I don't think it's going to work. Can't reach it. I need to get him up here farther. He's got too much moss on him. Can't see him, but I did get some moss off of here. <laughs> I'll speed you up through some of this. A catfish. A turtle. Oh no. Oh. I heard you fighting him. And he's got all this moss on him. What do you need? You need help? Oh, you just came to check on me? Yeah. Thank you. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, he's mad. Why do you make it pull longer? Or will it make it harder? It's all the farther it goes. I get the idea. Will you stop recording for me? Push that button on the back. Yeah. Great. Oh well. I'll be back with you. Well, if that don't look funny. All right, let's go back to fishing. Okay, guys. So this is a roller. A roller rod it's good to like 200 and some pounds I think it's printed on here somewhere or I looked it up but uh, that helps keep that stuff from happening but I mean that's all right that's it's only the fourth or fifth rod that I broke or lost <laughs> since I started fishing down here in Florida so which tops all the fishing rods I broke or lost in a lifetime in Ohio. <laughs> all right, let me get baited up, get casted out. I got to cast out the banana rod out again. And uh, hopefully no more turtles. Yeah, see, that's not a casting rod. It's just more of a trolling rod or deep sea rod that you take out and you just kind of drop it down beside your boat you know and let it sink but uh so I can't really cast it but it's better than nothing
How you doing? All right. What'd you get just a minute ago? Freaking turtle. Oh, I seen the pole bent over pretty good. I said, you either got a nice size bass on there, or you broke it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to say he broke it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I seen it bent over. I'm like, he, he must be got something nice. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, it was just a, just a turtle, man. <laughs> I can't believe that broke before this, well, that 17-pound test. You record yourself? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. YouTube. Oh, yo, you doing it for YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. Shea Bear 1000, you should check me out. What it is? Shea Bear 1000. Shea Bear 1000. S H A B E A R 1000. Alright. Right. Yeah, yeah, check it out. I'll be on there. But yeah, that's a. Uh, man, every time I come here. <laughs> you get a turtle? Every time. <laughs> I caught a baby gator one day. Now, the biggest turtle I've seen in a while down here is one of those snappers. Yeah. He, he was that big. Oh yeah. He was still around that cone. He, he I, was a monster. I, I caught seen one that big in years. I caught a nineteen and something pound turtle out of here. Yeah. Yeah, she caught I don't know, eighteen pound out of here. So um I don't eat them, I just let them go because they're, they're just so hard to clean, you know. Oh yeah. Yeah. You gotta have time to mess yeah. with them. I mean if you, if you, get them. you know uh, a guy that cleans turtles every day of his life, it takes him 40 minutes, you know, and he's yeah. he's good at it. Yeah. So, I mean, I did one in 42 minutes one time, but that was years ago, and I was like, you know. <laughs> now, if it was survival, oh yeah. yeah, I'd be eating them. <laughs> I can go home and have a steak. I, I don't need that turtle. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. I know that's right. Yeah. All right, well, you have a good one. Yeah, you have a great week, man. Yeah. Be safe. That's pretty cool. Seco Energy guy. Stop. <laughs> you heard him see my pole bent over. Wanted to see what I had a minute ago. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty cool. So. But yeah, I'm gonna try to get this thing. This thing's not casting right either. But it's just a Zebco 33. Not the newer one. My, my vintage one, 84, 1984. Man, that thing casts so good. Yeah, that's one the fish stole from me. So I don't know how many I've lost. Four or five. Um, I've only lost one to that fish, but the other ones got broke because of fish or turtles. So, there we go. So, yeah, if, if I get a turtle on this one, I'm not even going to fight it because this thing... <laughs> there's no way... <laughs> With eight pound test and this this little rod here is going to do anything. But Monkey wanted to get me one. I think she won this planter game off of Timu. Wanted to get me one that's collapsible for like when I do solos and stuff. I can put it in my pack. So it's great for that. You know, small fish, pan fish, bluegill, stuff like that. I wouldn't want to bring in a five pound fish with this. This rod will just snap probably. But yeah, that's uh, I could probably fix that. I probably will. I got a bite. I probably will until I can get another rod. See that that thirty-five dollar fishing license fee. You know that could have bought me a decent rod, but you know, whatever. But anyway, we make do. We're not going home. <laughs> bent bent our our Walmart uh, net up. So and it's aluminum. You try to straighten them, they'll break. So. But yeah, I'll show you. This thing doesn't, it's not a cast, and it's so heavy. But, like I say, it's just for trawling or deep sea. It's so heavy. And it's so short, too, you know. It won't, it doesn't, it won't throw your bait out. I'll show you. It's just... That one wasn't too bad. All right. I'm going to go get a drink of pop. Yes, I'm from Ohio. That stuff's pop, not soda. So.
Oh, well, good enough for now. All right, guys. Oh, I got a, got a bite on the banana rod. I hope it's not a turtle. Doesn't act like it. A turtle usually won't like bite and tap. Usually it just grabs a hold. You know, it just your line will just start moving. You know, your rod will start bending down. And that's what they do. They just pick it up and go with it. But, oh well. Bless her heart, monkey come down. Uh, I thought maybe she had issues up there. Because I could have just let this go. You know, I could have just hit the release and it would have been fine. But she came down to help me. <laughs> as soon as I told her, I said, yeah, hit the record button for me. Because it was going to be a little bit. I mean, as soon as she did that, snap. <laughs> That's her heart. Thanks for the help, monkey. I appreciate it. Because <laughs> she knows it's hard for me to get down these banks. So she came clear down here. See if I needed help. Thanks, Monk. I appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. All right. I'm going to get a drink. I'm going to recast this. Because I'm over, I'm way over there by them lily pads. And turtles like to hang out over there. Um, that's usually where I catch the gar and mudfish. But uh, also turtles. <laughs> Yeah, from now on, I used to, you know, usually bring them out and weigh them, but that one was probably only about 15 pounds, 14, 15 pounds from the looks of him. He could have almost fit in that net, um, which I had him in the net. And then I got the pole off her. She was holding my rod, and I brought in some slack. And I went to pull his head up so I can get him rest away in the net. Snap! I'll be back guys <laughs> okay guys monkey's got something up here easy hi and reel him to you quit backing out into the road well don't well you ain't gonna do it honey okay I understand but you have a reel I forgot the will you go get the net Oh, nice channel. Set him down there. Nice channel cat. I want to take a picture of guys. You got to quit backing out into the road. You got to reel, reel it up to you. If you back up, that's going to make it worse. Hey guys, I caught a fish. Yay. Hey guys, I'm going to take you back. I'm going to go get my pliers. I'll go, I'll go get him. Huh? I just want to show this. Oh, uh, okay. I guess monkey's going after him. Yeah. There he is. I caught a fish. Oh, well, now Yay. I'll go get him because I got my broad on it. There he is. Okay, good job, monk. We didn't weigh it. I'd say he was going on three pounds, two and a half, three pounds. What I was going to say was this rod here doesn't move. You got to watch your line real closely, so you got to have it kind of loose. So, I'm getting a, getting a bite on it. But what I did was I unlocked him, went up there to her. That way, you know, nothing can take my rods. Looked like he was wanting to run with it. Let's see if he will. She was back clear almost into the road. He's trying to go under them weeds. <laughs> so I had to explain to her, if you got a dog on a 10 foot lead, he's got more chances to roam. To where if you got him on a short lead. I said, think of it that way. You got a reel, use it. But he was trying to go under there. <laughs> yeah, but walking backwards to the road is not gonna help. <laughs> I think he quit hitting. Well, it's 
check our bait. That bait's still on there, so. Nothing big. All right, guys, I'll be back with you. I'm counting that turtle. Because monkey seen him, I seen him. I'm counting that as a catch. But monkey's got one fish, I got no fish. One to none. <laughs> Did get a turtle, however, so we're one to one. All right, guys, I got one on here. Oh no, I think he... I think he got me under a log or something. I do know there's a snag out there, but... Dang. Ah, that was a fish too. Well, he only got my hook. Yeah, that was a good fish, but I think there's a, a root or something down in there. I know there's a snag, so. Okay, guys, so I'm getting a hit on this pole here. It's a Shakespeare, so it's, it's not like a real high dollar rod, but it's not cheap either. I mean, it's decent. I don't know if I'd want to put 200 pound on it, but yeah, I mean, yeah, you can't, uh, y'all watch your line. You got to keep your line loose because it, you know, that the end of that rod is not going to move at all. Monkey's like, just, just cut the line whenever you get a turtle. I said, no, because then it won't count. She said, look, I'll count it. But she said, them turtles, are, you know, they're just too hard on you. Just cut the line. I said, it costs money every time I do that. She said, it costs money every time you break a rod, too, which is true. So... It's hard to tell when you got something on here because you know your pole's not bending, your rod's not bending. You just gotta wait for it to pull. All right, I'm gonna check my bait, cast back out again. Yep, still on there. Good thing about these chicken gizzards is they stay on pretty good. See, you can't cast, that was about almost as hard as I could cast that thing. <laughs> and I'm only 15 feet out from the bank. <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry it's not so exciting, but... That's getting a hit, though. 
This one's not casting real well either. Something's hitting on that though. This one, I gotta check it every time or the end will fly off of it. <laughs> That's pretty much out where I just had it. That's all right. It's got a, it's got a bite already too. Yeah, cause she came down to get a water. I asked her to grab me a pop and she brought my pop over. And I was baiting this one. That's when I when the hook broke off. So I was just I got the hook back on, I was just baiting it. She said, that rod's moving. I said, it is. She said, yeah. I said, is it going out? She said, yeah, it's going out. And I was like, I don't care. <laughs> she said, you're tired, aren't you? I said, yeah. She said, them, them, them turtles wear you out. Yeah, well. Yeah, I mean, you know. I'm not supposed to lift more than five pounds anyway. Can't sit at home and wait to die either. Yeah, there's something hitting on this one here. I'm not taking it yet though. So that's why I'm thinking it's a smaller fish. Usually if it's a pretty good sized fish, it'll hit maybe It'll hit once, maybe twice, and then it'll it'll just take it, it'll swallow it and take it. That's why I think when they're biting like that, they're not big enough to actually get the whole hook in their mouth. I'm using a, a number one circle hook, so it's kind of medium. It's not small, but it's not big, so. And, you know, I've got pretty good luck with them. Cause if I use a smaller hook, I'll be catching the little fish all day long. I don't want to do that. I also think it's smaller because, you know, it's not out very far. It's in here where the, the smaller fish are. I'm going to try to recast this thing. I guess it was, out, it was out there about 20 feet, I guess. There's where I want to be. That's where the catfish and the gar, well, turtles too, but. All right. Go ahead and cast this one. I want this one out towards the middle there. I hope I don't get anything too super huge on this one because there's no way this rod will bring it in. It's eight pound test. I, I could probably bring in a 12 pounder with it, but uh, well, maybe a 10 pounder, but I don't think the rod, the rod will hold it. <laughs> I don't think the rod will, I don't think it can handle it. Oh shoot. All right, monkey's got a fish. I hear her saying, oh baby. Alright, I'm gonna loosen. I didn't lock that one. Let's go see what monkey's got. No, close though. The bluegill. That's pretty. Nice bluegill. Alright, let me get him off of there. Alright, so monkeys went up on me. <laughs> Damn it. That's good though, she caught a fish. I did knock my chair over. I had one drink out of that pop she brought me. Oh Lord. That's all right, I got another one. So, good job, Monk. How'd you hear that? 
here, say thank you. <laughs> but now if I want to buy a tractor or something, she don't hear that. <laughs> I think she's got scuba divers putting shit on her line. <laughs> What you got? I don't know. Is it a turtle? It might be. It's heavy. I don't know where he is. Watch your line and that'll tell you. Should I let it off a little bit? No. Because he's... Okay, you need... Oh man, a turtle. Yeah. Down. Oh, quit catching turtles. I had to keep up with you. You said you needed a turtle. Oh, look at that. That's soft shell, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Ooh, they're supposed to be good to eat, aren't they? Ooh, let me taste nature. Just rest. He's in there. Whew. Damn, man. What a friggin' fight. All right, I'm gonna go get my scales. Sixteen point six one. Not as big as my other one, but it's up there. That's pretty fat, big. But my other one was bigger. Yeah, but yeah. still. Yeah, that's a big, big 16 one. Sixteen point one. Sixteen point six one. Look at his, got his head poking out. Right and you're bringing him in on twelve pound test. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that twenty dollar Walmart rod. And I just said to him, I said, you know, just cut it because he struggles. He has, how suppose I can't do that. I'd be in the dang water. And uh, I don't know how he does it. And he just did two today, so that's that's a lot for him. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, right, dumb monk. Huh? It's all right. <laughs> Rest tomorrow, right? No, I got stuff to do. Okay guys, so if I catch something else, I'll be back. There you go. I gotta get his hook out. Hi right, guys, so she did good on that one. She stood right up the edge of the bank and kept control of it. She said, yeah, that was a lot easier because the farther out you go, the more he can go left and right. 
if you're right up on him, he, he's limited on how far he can go. Um, I had her line finally snapped when I was trying to pull his head out to get the hook out of him. But, um, but that's okay. He got away with the hook, but that's all right. They'll rust out. Don't worry. Uh, but, uh, cause he didn't swallow it. It was just there. So, but, um, I felt I was going to have to do it anyway. Re rigor. So I, I, we saved her sinker. And, uh, so I just put another hook on her. I went ahead and re-rigged her because I could feel, you can feel your line. It's, you know, it gets kind of, uh, kind of frayed, even though it's a monofilament. It just, you can feel it. And so, uh, yeah, I just went ahead. I was going to fix it for her anyway. So, um, yeah, I was getting some good bites here too. Well, no runners, but they were biting. Um, I still got my bait. So, I'm going to recast mine out. Oh. There's the line for my other... I think that's the line for my turtle. He might still be there. I don't know. If he is, I'll have to try to get him out of there. Alright. I'm going to recast these. <laughs> She's too up on me, guys. <laughs> oh, guys. I've been getting bites. Haven't had any runners or any good hits yet. Um, as you can see, it's starting to rain, but it's going to pass over us here shortly. So I'm going to get you covered up. I'm going to keep fishing. <laughs> okay, guys, some monkey said she found something. I had you guys sitting in the car because, you know, rain. <laughs> she said she found something. What did you find? it because Don't. my flip-flops oops hmm. that's somebody's trap is it yeah, yeah. Well, what is that it's a minnow trap See the minis in there? Yeah. I oh, will leave it. Yeah. Oh, Remember cool. where that is, so don't drag your cross there. We'll leave it. Okay. I don't want to take somebody's stuff. No. Yeah, they're just trying to, you know, get bait for their fishing day. Oh, I've been here all day and I just noticed it. I know, I didn't notice it either. Yeah. She's like, there's a leader out here. Yeah, that's somebody's minnow trap, so, yeah, we won't mess with that. Somebody just trying to, trying to catch stuff for bait. I mean, I wouldn't have left it there unattended, but that's all right. If there would have been a fish on there, I would have took the fish for sure. But uh, there wasn't, so. All right, I'm gonna hit on the banana rod here. And hang on a second, guys, I lost my rag. Okay, I found it. I put this over you like when I'm, when the camera's not rolling keep the sun off of you or if it's just sprinkling but it came a downpour so I had to put you guys in the car so yeah it's always like that I don't monkey hang on a second we got a jeep coming stop biting but yeah I told monkey Jesus So I told Monkey, if I'm ever on a solo and I come up missing, and here comes another one. 
I said, tell search and rescue, just look for the black cloud. I'll be right underneath it. So, all right, I'm going to check my bait and recast. Yes, I'm getting a hit on the roller rod here. It doesn't seem to be like a big, big hit, but something's messing around with it. And of course it stops because I turned the camera on. I guess monkey just caught a fish. She said it's little. She's going to bring it down here. So She's going to... She calls it taking a picture. She's going to film it. And then, so she's caught four items today. So she's going to bring it down. <laughs> we'll see what she got. She said it's little. So There's her little fish, guys. <laughs> she said it was little. Cute. Yeah. You got your pictures? Yeah. Where you want it? No. Throw them in. No. Thank Great. you. I got fish in my pot. Alright, that's number four for her. <laughs> one for me. Really? Yeah. You only had one? That turtle. You haven't caught nothing else. I thought you caught something. No. Oh. That turtle. <laughs> I'm sorry. You want to join me down there? No. Oh. Matter of principle now. Uh oh, your thing's moving. Yeah, that's what they're they've been doing. I got it. <laughs> My gotta, thing's moving. I need some meat. I used the shrimp on that one, and it was tiny. All right. <laughs> Rain's coming again. But I think it'll pass us. So I'm gonna get you covered up. See if I can catch one more. That's all I want. One more. Okay guys, we're taking off. <laughs> so monkey got four items and I got one. So she got a turtle, <laughs> catfish, a bluegill, and a crappie. I caught a turtle. And broke a pole. Again. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to try to fix one up tonight, so I'll make that a video. And uh, We need to get you a stronger one. Okay, I understand that, but yeah. right now I can't, so i got to fix what I've got. So I'll bring you guys along with me on that. I'll make a video on it. Uh, that guy in that black truck? Yeah. That was the guy with the trap up there. Oh, was it? Yeah, he was talking to me. Well, I saw the label. I took a picture of it and brought it up. He's the cabinet man. I don't know, but anyway, yeah. anyway, I was talking to a guy back there, and uh, yeah, he said, yeah, he says, I got a shiner trap up there. I said, yeah, we saw it. <laughs> so, he usually fishes here or down at the dock where we go to, so. All right. Yep. All right, guys, we're done for today. Thanks for tagging along, right, Monk? Yep. Just raining off and on they're hitting but nothing big nothing you know worthwhile so all right guys we'll catch you in the next one shea bear myth man legend gone for now monk i fished out by y'all there it comes yeah all right guys we'll see you